the meters are going up, which means things are playing, which means it must be time for another episode of how to build a radio station. Quite a lot's happened since uh, last time uh, we were here, putting the radio station together. The mixer is now working. We've still got a problem with uh, this fourth microphone fader, but all the others are working. And you will see that uh, the meters are going up. And the meters are going up because that laptop which is there just temporarily with a playout system on it is feed into the desk which is in turn feed into this compressor and if you look closely at the compressor you will see that two channels for the left and the right of the stereo are both going up because currently there is something playing out what is playing out at the moment if we look on the screen there, at the minute it's Ava Max, so am I. So we've basically got it going. We've got music playing out, we've uh, got the desk working, so all the play out is good. All we have to do now is around the back of here we have to go from the outputs there the two outputs the left and the right stereo output from there into a computer that will encode the signal stick it into the internet and then basically we'll be broadcasting online it's as simple as that this mixer here, this is the spare one, this isn't doing anything. It's just acting as a shelf at the moment. So, basically, now the path for the audio is working. We are now proved that it works and we've got it set up. I think it'll be set up nicely now when uh, we try and do anything with it. If you look there closely again you will see that if I set things going again because things have stopped so I've just got to set them going again on here um, where are we yep there we go All right. what we got next breakaway so playing Kelly Clarkson on breakaway at the moment so if I look on there now you will see those green lights are going up to basically zero if you look very closely at one if it will go in focus will it focus come on focus your thing take my word for it it's going up to about zero um, which is as it should do if it goes over if I put a mic up and speak into a mic it will start to go over but you will start to see as it goes over you will start to see red lights going the other way and that is the effect of the compressor limiter kicking in so if you notice the green is still not going any higher even though the needles on the uh, meters on the desk are now going higher you'll notice that is still just going up to zero because the limiter is kicking in so it's mixing things down so it should give us a nice uh, signal going out as it is there at the moment so it looks like we've about cracked it so what we've got to do now is start tidying things up we need to replace that laptop with a desktop PC that will go in there into the chain we will then need to put in a second PC to do the encoding then it's just a case of getting the internet in and that's a story in itself getting the internet installed is proving to be a bit problematic into this what is basically an office unit in a business center um, where we are at uh, Pleasant Vale Mill 
uh, is uh, an old cotton mill from years ago that's been converted into little business units. We just read this one here. And when I looked at getting some internet installed, this particular unit in the business centre doesn't seem to have an address. If I put in into the broadband service provider, if I put in Pleasant Vale Business Centre, you know, put in the postcode for it, it comes up with lots and lots and lots of units all in this building. But it doesn't come up with this particular one. So I asked the internet company, um, I think it was I think it was Plusnet who I asked um, how I go about getting an unlisted address uh, served with broadband and they said you have to go onto the Royal Mail's website because it looks like it's an unregistered address. Go onto the Royal Mail's website and type in the details of the address and they will register the address. So I did all this, I went onto the Royal Mail's website, typed in all the details of where I was and what the circumstances were and things and a couple of days later they sent me an email back saying your address is not registered with uh, the local authority get in touch with the local authority to register the address well that's a bit silly because the people that operate this business center are balls over district council they are the local authority uh, <laughs> so I, i've been back to them and said look I don't seem to have a registered address here and they're now trying to sort that out but until they do sort that out the problem in the meantime is that I cannot get broadband installed into this unit even though there is a phone socket on the wall down there um, so at the moment I need to try and get some broadband installed and then we'll be very close to maybe being able to do some test transmissions so it's coming together for those who have asked this play out system that i'm using here is something called rivendell which is a free open source uh, piece of software that quite a lot of radio stations around the world use it runs on the linux platform so you've not got Microsoft Windows to deal with, which is notoriously unstable. The Linux is a lot more stable and stability is everything when you're talking about a piece of software on a computer that is going to be running potentially 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this is absolutely rock solid. This little laptop I have uh, taken into various radio stations that I've worked at over the years and plugged it into their systems when their systems haven't been terribly reliable and done complete shows off this laptop in fact what is running now is a copy of the programming i.e the list of songs etc um, for tmcr uh, up at thorn in uh, near doncaster this is a show that i did for them two or three years ago that uh, just still happens to be on the computer so I'm just playing it back just to uh, test the play out system here but uh, as you can see it's all working nicely the needles are going up on the mixer you may think they're not going very high but they're going high enough for the music because of the way we're mixing the music with speech and, that, and you can see we're getting a decent reading here on the uh, on the compressor limiter as well so it's all looking good but that for those that are asking is Rivendell if you want to uh, do a little google of that you'll find it you can download it for free and it's a really good piece of software now although it's uh, getting close to test transmission it's nowhere close to broadcast yet there's a lot that still needs to be done in this room there's a heck of a lot of tidying up that needs to be done um, I've got a place where I've got temporary equipment like the laptop where we've got to get proper desktop PCs in um, it would be quite it would be quite nice to give the place a bit of a a bit of a clean up and whatnot as well um, so there's a lot to do yet 
the sound in this room is not terribly good. It's a bit echoey, as you can probably tell from this. So we could do it installing some sound deadening and things like that. But the basics of what you need to run the radio station, i.e. somewhere for the music to come from, some microphones, a mixer, and a path for it to go out to the internet. The basics of it are now more or less there. So what is left to do now is do the tidying up and the prettifying, if you like, of everything. So there'll be a bit more furniture to come in, um, got to root wires, permanently where they're not going to be in the way and stuff like that and just just generally clean things up a bit so that's going to be some of the next things to do together with actually getting the broadband installed so that's just a quick update for you and we'll see you again next time remember give us a like and give us a subscribe if you're enjoying this series you might even fancy joining us on patreon if you're really enjoying it um, the Patreon address is uh, patreon.com forward slash Andy Shed. That's patreon.com forward slash Andy Shed.